Hello everyone and welcome to episode 10 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I want to start off by congratulating Judy Coleman for being our episode 9 winner. Uh, she's been hosting Link Down Enrollment Services for a few weeks now. Uh, we didn't have an episode on November 1st, uh, so he's been had an extended stay down there. Um, so stay tuned uh, Monday for our episode 10 question uh, for your chance to host Link in your department. Um, one of the biggest activities that's going on right now in the CTC Link project is data validation. Uh, in fact, yesterday um, we had all, representatives from all three pillars throughout the day attending WebEx sessions to kind of uh, learn how to do the data validation piece uh, for the data that was converted back in October 21st. Uh, the nice thing about this data validation uh, piece is that people now are getting hands-on into the PeopleSoft environment. So they're getting into PeopleSoft to look at the data as it was converted into PeopleSoft so they can um, make sure that the data came through cleanly from the conversion. Um, and so it's been kind of nice uh, for folks to be able to get a chance to get into the system and kind of see how the system's gonna, gonna work. And so I thought I'd give you all a little, little bit of a preview um, of, of the system. Now this is our, our conversion demo environment, uh, our conversion uh, environment. So, um, so things are gonna change, it's gonna look different uh, once we have our production environment up and running. But I just wanted to give you all kind of a, a, a look at what, uh, what the system does look like. Um, at least with some of our data in it. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. This is the uh, campus solutions side or the campus solutions pillar. And I'm just gonna look at some course information but kind of give you an idea of how that looks. So the way this demo environment is set up, the menu is across the top here. And under main menu, I can look at different different areas of the system, and it's really restricted at this point um, because there's not a whole lot of data in there. But uh, I had already selected the campus um, area, and uh, so I wanted to just kind of show you uh, some of the course catalog information, like how you can look things up in the system. So I'm going to click on the course catalog link, and then I'm going to select my academic institution. And when I start typing, it'll just pop up uh, some options for me to select. If I know the full code, I can just type in the full code and hit enter. Um, but this is kind of nice, and this and this is available in all the text fields in the system. It's kind of a nice uh, search tool. It lets you filter as I start typing things in. So if I hit two, it's going to restrict it even further or filter it even further. So it's a great way to kind of uh, start typing in what you're looking for and have it pop up so you don't have to memorize uh, codes or different things in the system. It'll just kind of present the information to you. So I'm going to select uh, WA220, which is TCC. And then in the subject area, I'm not sure exactly what I want to look at right now. So what I can do is I can click this little magnifying glass. And then it's going to pop up a box uh, that lets me kind of scroll through and choose a class or choose some information. So anywhere you have a magnifying glass in the system, you'll be able to click that magnifying glass and bring up a list uh, to find information that you're looking for. Again, you don't have to memorize things like we have had to do with the legacy system because uh, there hasn't been kind of a lookup capability, but this system does have a lookup capability. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through here and grab uh, English. And then I can just click search. And then it's gonna pop up all the English courses that we have in our course catalog. And you can see here that we have, you know, three different English 101. So here's where the data conversion or the data um, validation piece is, is important, is that we need to look through the system and, and look for some of these things that, that um, maybe were holdovers from the legacy environment, or maybe like in this case, there was a test English course. So we can clean up some of that data in the system and, and uh, make sure that the, the data is clean in the new system. So anyway, the, uh, this is how it, what it looks like to kind of search up a course in the course catalog. Uh, but I just really wanted to kind of focus on um, the filtering capabilities and the, and the search capabilities uh, within the system that will make it easier uh, for people to find the information that they're looking for and navigate through the system uh, more quickly. So uh, that's all I have for today. Um, I do want to say, um, you know, to stay tuned on Monday and uh, the question for episode 10 will be coming out. Uh, for your chance to host Link, um, and uh, and I hope you all have a good weekend. Also, um, just wanted to say too that because of the Thanksgiving holiday, we won't have an episode in two weeks, so it'll be four weeks before we have the next uh, the CTC Link uh, vlog episode. All right, thanks.